Hey guys, we're about to head on that money grind. Candy selling week nine, day three. So, oh, and today, also the um, long-awaited Q&A video. Finally doing it. It's Wednesday, so I was going to do it on Wednesday. I have quite a few questions to get through today, so it's going to be a little bit of a longer video. Anyways, so don't, today sold 22. Pretty good. Sold completely out of all the power I took. I'm officially sold out of sweet and sour skittles. As you can see, they're not there anymore. So I only have four powers left. Um, three Kit Kats left. Um, I only have not a whole lot of sour patch watermelon. I've one left in here, and six in that bottom box, right down there. So quite a few regular sour patch, but they normally don't sell as well as the watermelon. So, uh. I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys up right here on this tripod. This is gonna be a long video. I feel like holding my phone this whole time. And now for this Q and A. So the first question comes in from Edgar Vega. And he says, "Where do you get the stuff you sell?" This was not made to in the Q and A video, but I might as well go ahead and address it. So I get just about everything from Walmart or Amazon. Um, so like, the Skittles, both these ones, and then the Sweet and Sours that were there, I got both of those off of, uh, Amazon. Everything else is Walmart. So the Kit Kats, Twix, Twix when I had them. These boxes, Honey Buns, Powerades, they all come from Walmart. Um, second question is from Chosen KB. And they say, how much you sell the honey buns for? So, the honey buns are a dollar. Everything I sell, in fact, is a dollar unless I'm running some type of promotion or sale. Except for Powerades. Powerades are two dollars. The next question comes from Expert Cam. And he says, how to not get caught? So, this is actually a very good question. Um, I am currently in my ninth week of selling candy, and I've yet to been caught. I've had some close calls, but I've never actually been caught. Most of my teachers, uh, they're pretty relaxed, and they don't really mind that much if I'm selling in there, just as long as I'm not selling while they're teaching. If we're just having normal, um, like we're doing individual work or something like that, and everyone's kind of talking and having fun while we're working, then they don't mind if I'm selling candy. Um, so never sell during class. I would try to never sell whenever you can see, obviously see a teacher. Um, unless you're in a class where a teachers, your teachers are pretty chill. Um, I normally have, most of my friends, if I'm selling in a spot, and they see someone coming, they'll tell me. And I'll kind of be like, hey, let's wait a little bit. I'll talk to whoever I'm selling to. And they get it. They they know I'm not really supposed to be doing it. I'm doing it anyways, and I'm I'm the supplier, <laughs> I guess you could say. So yeah, I mean, just don't be stupid about it. Look around. Don't make a whole big. Don't make a scene while you're selling. And you should be fine. The next question comes from J Vlogs. He says, "What's your best candy selling tip?" So. I would say my best tip, and this can apply not really directly with selling candy, but more with getting started, is to not get discouraged. When I first started selling, I was expecting to immediately come in and start selling 20 a day. I'm still not selling 20 every single day. I'll, I'll do it once or twice a week, but not every day. Um, so don't get discouraged. Your sales will be low at first. Just, it doesn't matter. More and more people will start to figure it out. And I would say a tip actually applies directly with selling the candy is establish people in just about every class that you have that will buy from you every day. And most of the times, people will see you, they'll see some kid have candy, they'll be like, hey, where'd you get that from? They say, oh, I got it from so-and-so over there, and that so-and-so is you. So it's kind of 
free advertising and that's how I get a lot of my sales actually is I have a couple people every day that will come in and buy from me and then they just, they just buy from me every day and people see it and then those other people come to me and hopefully they become a long time buyer. Um, the next question comes in from Expert Cam once again and he says how to make money like you and I would have to once again say get people that will buy from you every single day but for most of the time those people tend to be someone um, that run their own type of thing they sell maybe they sell wristbands or something else but they have or maybe they even have a job but they have a constant stream of income because someone who's just living not I wouldn't say living but someone who's they their parents may give them $10 every week just for like an allowance or whatever um, they're not gonna be as likely to buy from you so try and get people who you know have jobs or have a constant stream of income and ask them because they're obviously gonna have more money to sell or more money to buy I'm sorry um, Jacob Sanchez says how do you bring your candy to school so let me grab my bag real quick I bring my candy to school in hold on I bring my candy to school in this drawstring bag and it can be any bag really and then I bring Powerades to school in this little cooler thing fit four Powerades in there um, it can be any bag. I would like to have a duffel bag that has like a, like a small duffel bag that has a flip top because then I can just set that down and open the top and people can see instead of me holding the, open the bag. Um, that would be nice to have, but drawstrings work fine. I would recommend getting something that has a front pocket because that's where I keep my money. Keep it so like someone can buy something and they hand me the money, I just stick it in the front pocket. Once I get home that day, I count everything up. Um, Expert Cam says, where do you buy? I already answered that one. Walmart and Amazon. And then the last question comes from Edgar Vega. He says, how do you pack your candy? So what I do is I put four Powerades in this, in the ice, in the cooler. And I put that cooler in the refrigerator overnight. And then I normally take three to four Kit Kats of school and put those in the freezer. And so in the morning, what I do is I take my cooler and I take it out of the refrigerator and put it down in the very bottom of my bag because that's, if I put it on top of everything, it'll crush it, especially the honey buns. So I'll, and I'll layer everything up. So cooler goes on the bottom and then Kit Kats go on top of that and then all the other candy I just kind of throw it in so like the Skittles, Sour Patch, Swedish Fish I just throw that all in on top because I mean it gets all jumbled up during the day anyways and then on top of everything I put the honey buns because I don't like I don't want them to get smashed or anything and my bag is pretty heavy at the beginning of the day and it stays heavy but if I can sell patents if I can sell off the power it gets a whole lot lighter um, let's see here. That is all for the questions. Uh, so if you guys have any more questions that you'd like to ask me, feel free to just put them down there in the comments. And most of the time, I'll probably end up just responding to them in a video because that way more people will be able to hear the answer. So if you say, if you put a comment on this video, I'll probably answer it tomorrow's video or Friday's video. Um, so that'll be it for the Q&A in the week 9, day 3. Once again, sold 22 today. Pretty good day. This week's, I think I'm at 45 on the week. So my goal to sell 75 in a week is going pretty good. To sell 15 a day, to sell 75 in a week, and I'm at 45 through 3 days. So, 
right where I need to be. I'd probably like to be a little bit further ahead, but as long as I'm staying on track, that I'm okay with that too. So that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.